Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have week 12 of the RODL3. Uh, this is the final week of the regular season and this is going to be against Checkmate. This is going to be a rematch from week 3 of this very league. Uh, so we are in a very critical spot right now, as you guys may recall. Um, we are coming into this game at 4-7 and seven following another kind of unfortunate loss last week as our opponent is coming into this game at five and six. So um, essentially the situation is this. Uh, if we win this game, um, we have a shot at making the playoffs. However, if we lose this game, we are definitely 100% eliminated from that um, from that possibility. Even if we do win this game though, we have to win by a pretty sizable margin to close a five point differential between ourselves and another team vying for the same spot. So not only do we need to win this, but we need to win this in a pretty big way. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I am pretty nervous going into this one because, uh, this is it. It is pretty much all or nothing for this game. So, um, we're going to take a look here, and um, okay, so you can see his team right there um, on the side there. I'm bringing the same squad that I've brought for uh, the majority of this uh, season, and as you can see, um, he's bringing pretty much everything that I expected him to bring, except the uh, the Marini. I'm, I wasn't really uh, expecting that, but there it is. Um, so yeah, and... Um, Actually, no Slurpuff either. Um, that's another little bit of a shock. I kind of thought he'd be bringing that. He did the first time we faced off. So, um, uh, yeah. So, um, I do kind of sort of have a little bit of a plan going into this. So, I'm going to go ahead and lead with my Gudra. It is the basically the de facto team captain of the Philadelphia Pidgeys. It has been on every rendition of my team in basically every game for every league that I've played, so hopefully it'll bring some good luck to lead with it. And uh, we're going to get into it and hope for the best here. So again, um, it is do or die at this point, so um, really have to buckle down focus and hopefully pull out a win here. So there he is, and he is going to go ahead and lead with the Zatu, which is actually really good for me um, with the Gudra lead. So um, the Gudra pretty much walls the Zatu almost completely, so... Um, what is he going to want to switch into is the question. I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and... Um, he might go for the Clef Key, so I think I'm going to go for the Fire Blast straight away, hoping to catch that on a switch. And no, he's actually going to stay in and hit me with a Dazzling Gleam, so that's a little bit of a surprise. Um, I was thinking he would want to switch, so I'm going to Fire Blast this thing, and um, that is going to take it down by pretty far, um, about two-thirds, and I do get the Burn, which is also really nice. So I am going to regain some HP with the Leftovers here as well, and then uh, he's going to take some damage from the Burn. So that's not a bad start to the game for me. Um, a little bit unexpected, actually, but um, I think we can work with it. So um, he might try to roost up here, so I think I'm actually just going to go for the Draco Meteor and hope that that will be uh, enough to take him out. So um, we'll see what happens. And um, so he no, he's actually going to go for a switch here. That's interesting. So he's going to switch into Clef Key, which actually sucks. Um, so uh, I'd go for the Draco again, and he's going to get the free switch, which sucks. Um, but I am going to go ahead and get the uh, HP back with the leftovers, which is not bad. So that was definitely a ballsy prediction on his part, but paid off. So he does know I have the Fire Blast. Um, but I think I really just kind of have to go for it again here to hopefully hit this thing pretty hard. Um, so he is going to go for a spike, though. He's going to go ahead and get those uh, entry hazards up on me, so that sucks. Going to go for a fire blast, and thankfully I don't miss, so I'm going to hit that. And that is going to actually take this thing all the way into the red. And I get another burn, actually. So uh, a lot of luck here uh, early for me with those uh, RNG. So uh, two burns, which is really strong. I get some HP back with the leftovers, and he is just barely hanging on after the burn. So... 
Um, yeah, that is pretty strong. I'm just going to go ahead and Thunderbolt here. Um, and he's probably just going to go for what's, yeah, another layer of spikes. Okay, so he's going to set a second layer of spikes. So that's actually not good for me. But um, I am going to be able to take this thing out with a Thunderbolt here, which is really good. So uh, he does have two layer of spikes up, which does suck. But um, that's going to knock him down to five. So I'm going to take an early lead after some... Uh, Nice RNG and uh, a little bit of luck there with uh, Gudra. So um, that is pretty good. But um, he does have the hazards up, which is not great. So um, we'll see how he wants to play it off of off of that. Unfortunately, I don't have any hazard removal here. And so he is going to go into the Toxic Rook. Okay. So um, not 100% sure what he might want to do here. Um, he could just definitely just attack me straight away, although um, he could try to set up, which um, was something he did last time. So, hmm, you know what? I don't know if I really want to give him an opportunity to set up here, so I think I'm just going to stay in, actually, and go for a Draco Meteor and hope he just tries to set up. And, uh, yeah, he, so he's going to substitute. Okay, so he's going to put a substitute in, and so um, I'm going to Draco Meteor. So that'll definitely break the sub. Um, but it will drop my um, special attack harshly, which is not good, um, because that will probably force me to switch out next turn. So, um, not great. He is going to regain some HP with the black sludge there, and then I'm going to regain some HP as well with the leftovers. So, definitely going to have to go for a switch this time around. Um, so, I know he has substitute, um, and he probably has some type of setup move, I would imagine. So... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch into, the, he's probably just going to substitute again, unfortunately, but, um, I don't really have, um, I don't really have, uh, anything I can do about that, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch into the Seismitoad, um, and we'll see what he wants to do, um, and I do take the spikes damage as he's going to Toxic, okay, so he switches it to the Toxic, so that is going to poison me, not great, um, but I guess not the end of the world either. So um, he's going to regain some HP with the Black Sludge. So definitely a bulky Stolly set there. Um, I'm going to regain some HP with the Leftovers. And yeah, I'm going to take that Poison Damage. So um, he could definitely, um, he has a couple options here. He could definitely sub again, or he could switch into the Zat predicting the Earthquake or the Stealth Rock. So I think... Um, the safest play here is probably just to Ice Punch. It should do enough damage to break the sub if he goes for it. Um, going for the Earthquake or the Stealth Rock would both be a pretty awful risk, so I don't think I want to do that. So I'm just going to play it safe and go for the Ice Punch here. And uh, no, he's going to stay in and sub, actually. Okay, so he's he's really determined to get that substitute off. So I am going to Ice Punch. Um, I am max attack, so um, I believe it should be enough, hopefully. Yeah, it is enough to break the sub, so that's good. Um, he's going to regain more HP there with the um, Black Sludge, and then I am going to uh, regain HP with the Leftovers and then take poison damage as well so um, we're pretty much right back to where we started except for we're both at a little bit lower of hp the toxic damage is racking up which is not good but at this point i don't think i can afford a switch so um pretty much in the same position i was in last time i can't afford a switch because i can't afford to let him get that sub up so um, i think i'm actually just going to go for the earthquake this time worst case he switches to the zat but no he's going to protect um, to further scout my set so actually um, i should have gone for the stealth rock there um, so, but he is protect, so he only looks like, so he is toxic, sub protect, and then, um, I guess he has one more attacking move, um, after that, I guess. Um, so yeah, interesting, very, uh, you know, bulky set here. So, unfortunately, I might just have to, um, yeah, so he's just really a stally set, I guess, because he, he revealed three out of four of his moves, just toxic, sub protect, so I... I guess I, there's no really danger in switching out too much at this point. So, um, yeah. So I guess, uh, what do we want to switch into? Hmm. Definitely have to switch into something. Um, could his last move be a fire move is a good question. I could. It's probably not, but that's a risk I might not want to take. But you know what? I have to switch into something. So uh, we're going to go ahead and switch into Rotom. I think that seems 
relatively safe. Um, but no, he's actually going to go for a switch of his own this time, and he's going to go into the Dracovish. Okay, that's not great. Um, but that was actually kind of a risky play on his side once again, so he's definitely taking some risks here. So um, I'm going to go into the Rotom. I am not going to get touched from the spikes, of course. So, okay. So now we're kind of in another um, rocky situation here because this Dracovish could put in a lot of work. Um, the Rotom could actually put in a lot of work as well since I am choice spec. So um, the question now is, do I want to... Because um, if I just stay in and he just goes for that Dragon move straight away, um, that is going to be devastating. So um, mm, I could try to switch into the Ninetales to block the predicted Dragon move, though. Um, yeah, this is actually hard. I think I have to just stay in. I don't want to risk another switch, so... I could try to trick him, you know what, I think he has no immunities to electric on his team, so I think I just have to stay in and volt switch, hope he doesn't go for the dragon move here, um, and no, he is going to switch, thankfully, so he didn't want to risk it there, he's going to switch into the Toxicroak, which is actually really good for me, um, so he is going to take this uh, choice spec volt switch, and uh, he's not going to take that very well, that's going to knock him down into the yellow, which is good, uh, about quarter HP, and I do get the switch here. So off of that, um, I think I know I should outspeed him with the Alolan Ninetales. So I think it's time to bring that in. And so I am going to take the spikes damage and then get the snow warning to make it hail on the battlefield. So um, he is going to take the hail damage again, which is good, um, and then regain the HP with the sludge. So. Um, what do I want to do here now? Um, he could definitely be going into the Marini. Um, I could, I have a lot of options here, um, but I think I just want to play it safe and go for the Blizzard actually. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, he is just going to stay in and take the Blizzard actually. Um, so that is going to get rid of the Toxic Croak. So that's good. Uh, no more annoying stall from that thing. So that's going to drop him down to four. So um, that is that is really good. That is really strong for me. So. Um, now he is going to get the switch, and he is going to come in with the Dracovish now. Okay, so um, this is definitely um, another <laughs> another hard decision to make here because um, he's probably going to, if I had to guess, I would say he would be Choice Scarf. My Focus Sash is deactivated thanks to the spikes. Um, so I think I have to switch to try and save Ninetales. Um, I think hopefully I'm going to try to switch into the um, Seismitoad, hopefully trying to catch a water move from this thing. Um, so we're going to see how that works out. So I switch in with Seismitoad, and he is, I take the spikes damage, and he's going to go for the Iron Head. Okay, so that's not going to do much of anything to me, so that's good. Um, and then he is going to take the Hail damage, um, as am I, and then I'm going to regain some HP from the leftovers. So. Um, this turn, I would say he's, he has to be choice itemed, I would think, after I take the poison damage. So he's more than likely going to be switching out here. Um, so um, if he's not choice item, I'm going to be dead anyway. So um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, he's probably going to, uh, you know, it's hard to say what he might want to do. But I think um, the safest play at this point is just to ice punch because... He's got to be going for that switch, um, and if he's not, I'm going to be going down anyway. But no, he is definitely going to switch, so he's definitely choice item. He is going to be coming in with the Marini. Okay, so um, I'm going to Ice Punch this thing, which I can't imagine is going to do next to nothing, so not great. Um, and then we're both going to take the, um, the Hail Damage there, and then I'm going to regain some HP from the Leftovers, and then um, take some damage from the poison so um once again another difficult decision on deck for me um i could um definitely switch i think i have to switch here um because with that zatu waiting in the wings i really don't want to risk getting my stealth rock magic bounced um so i am going to um it's either going to be rotom or maybe Gudra, not 100% sure. Mm. Ugh, this is another difficult decision here. He could just be going for a Toxic as well, so this is actually really difficult, but okay, I think um, he's probably gonna go for a Toxic if he stays in, so, or he could Scald, Ugh, I don't know. 
All right, I think I'm just gonna have to switch into the Rotom. Difficult decision here, um, but I'm gonna switch into the Rotom and hopefully he doesn't, I mean, he might just be going for a Toxic, anticipating the switch, or he could double switch. Okay, he's do gonna double switch, um, and he's gonna double switch into the Zatu, okay. So, um, that's gonna be it for the Hail, okay. So, um, he's going to take the burn damage, that's good. He's more than likely going to be packing a grass move, so I think I'm definitely going to want to get out here, and um, I'm not going to want to take a grass move, so we're going to go back into Gudra here. Um, oh no, he is going to, geez, he's going to switch now too, so he's going to switch into Rillaboom, okay. So he's going to come in with Rillaboom, and he's going to get the grassy surge, okay. So I am going to switch as well. I guess I sh should have or could have gone for the Volt Switch, but uh, I didn't want to risk taking a Grass move from this thing, or from the, from the Zatu. So kind of have Gudra coming in, going to take the Spikes damage, and then going to regain uh, HP from the Grassy Terrain and the Leftovers. So um, at this point, um, let's see what he's going to want to do here. So... Um, I think um, I can just go for the, uh, it could go for either the Fire Blast or the Sludge Wave. Uh, I think I'm just going to Sludge Wave. He's probably just not going to want to stay in again, but no, he's going to Swords Dance. Okay, so that's not good. So I'm going to Sludge Wave this thing, which is good though. So he's going to get that Sharp Attack increase. Uh, I'm going to hit this thing with a Sludge Wave. Um, it is very bulky, but it is not quite enough to kill, unfortunately. I do get the Poison though. Jeez, that is all. That is another um, lucky RNG for me there. So I get the poison. Um, we're both going to regain the HP from the grassy terrain. And then um, I'm going to regain the HP with the leftovers. And he's going to take the um, poison damage. So he is barely hanging on after that poison damage. Now, um, going to definitely want to switch out here to try to save my Gudra. Um, he only has one turn left probably with the poison damage, so I am going to have to give him something. Now, the problem is I don't really want to give him Seismitoad, even though that would be the logical choice because um, that would prevent him from locking, choice locking with the with the Dracovish. But I think based on HP, I mean, it's got to either be... Uh, I think it has to be the Seismitoad. I don't want to give him the Seismitoad, but I think I really have to at this point. So we're going to basically switch the Seismitoad in as fodder. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. So there's the Seismitoad. And um, I'm barely going to survive the Spikes damage, and uh, he is going to Drain Punch. Okay, so that's that was actually the smart decision um, because... He's not going to gain much of any health off of that. He might gain enough to survive the poison damage, though, which is bad. Um, but uh, no, he is not... Uh, okay, so the life orb damage is actually going to take him out there. So we're going to have a double down. So that is going to knock me to five and him to three, but that is pretty huge. So, okay, so now another difficult decision to make here. I think, um, again, we're probably just going to have to come in with the Rotom. That's just the smart play here. So he is going to come in... Okay, that's perfect, actually. He's going to come in with the Marini. Uh, I'm going to come in with the Rotom once again. So um, that's actually perfect for me. I can definitely freely quick click Volt Switch here um, without fear. And um, he is going to stay in and take that, actually. So that Choice Specs Volt Switch is actually just going to destroy that thing. Got a critical hit. I don't know if that mattered or not, um, but that's actually huge for me as well. So that's going to drop him to just two Pokemon. So that is incredible. Um, and then uh, the only bad thing is he is going to get the Switch advantage on me here. Um, so, yeah, so what do we want to do here? He's got the Zatu and the Dracovish left, so the Dracovish could definitely still be a huge problem for me, but I think I'm going to want to come back in with the Ninetales at this point. Um, so going to come back in with the Ninetales, um, and I do take the Spikes damage, but um, I am going to get the Snow Warning back up, which is good. Um, that's probably going to force him to go into Dracovish more than likely. Um, I am going to regain HP there from the uh, grassy terrain, but the only good thing, or the good thing about that is, uh, yep, it is going to force him into the Dracovish. So, again, he is more than definitely choice locked here, so he's going to have to. I mean, I guess this would be the point in time that I can find out. Um, I can find out if he's Scarf or not. If he's not Scarf, I should outspeed. If he is Scarf, um, obviously he's going to outspeed, so I am going to go ahead and um, freeze dry here. I guess I just 
I have to find out. Um, I don't want to make a risk, so I'm going to have to find out what... And, uh, okay, he's going to Draco... Okay, so, wow, he made a huge risk there. He goes for a Draco Meteor, and so, wow, that freeze-dry is going to obliterate him. So, geez, wow, that is incredible. Whew. Okay, so he made an over-prediction there that really cost him, so um, that freeze-dry is going to take that thing out, knock him down to just one Pokemon. That is going to be it for the grass as well. And so he is going to be down to just one, and that is going to be the Zatu. So um, that is incredible, actually. So um, what do I want to do here is the question. I know he has, um, I don't know if he could, who's going to, you know what, I'm just going to stay in here and I'm um, going to go ahead and go for the Blizzard. Um, and so he's going to outspeed me, actually. He's going to Giga Drain, not going to do too much damage at all. Um, and so he's going to gain some HP for, back from that, but I can't imagine he's going to survive a blizzard here. And uh, indeed, he is not going to be able to survive the blizzard. So that is incredible. That is going to take out the Zatu, and that is game. All right, so we are going to get a 5-0 win there over Checkmate. That is incredible. Um, I am very happy about that. That's exactly what the Philadelphia Pidgeys needed to keep us alive here. So, um, yeah, that is incredible. So, um, that was a good match. I will be the first to admit, definitely a lot of hacks on my side there with the status conditions, um, about three or four of them, I think. Um, definitely some good plays or predictions on both sides, but um, definitely the early hacks in my favor really helped to swing it uh, for me. So that is, uh, that is exactly what we needed. I'm very happy about that. So with that win, um, the Philadelphia Pidgeys are going to end the regular season at 5-7. and seven. Uh, Not the greatest record in the world, but not a terrible record. And because of the chaotic state of our division and our conference in the league, it just might be enough to get us a spot in the playoffs. I don't know if it will or not. We're going to have to wait to find out. So essentially, now that we've won our game and won by a huge margin, the situation is now this. There is one team that we have to keep an eye on, and um, if that team loses by any margin, we are going to make it into the playoffs. If that team wins by any margin, we are not going to make it into the playoffs. So at this point, unfortunately, our fate is out of our hands, so we can only hope for the best. But um, either way, I will be back here to let you guys know what happens. So um, if we do, in fact, make it to the playoffs, then uh, the next match you will see is going to be the quarterfinals of the playoffs. If not, um, you'll be getting an episode of the captain's table talking about the season. Um, but yeah, so and uh, anyway, uh, regardless of all that, I am very happy that uh, we were able to do what we needed to do today to stay alive in that hunt for that uh, playoff spot. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.